Okay, guys, I'm just going to quickly go over something. Um, I was watching a video the other night, and I discovered an even better generator. <laughs> I'm going to go over this in a little bit more detail. I'll probably make a ship like this with the plan. Um, I need to find a full. I need to find out who created it so I can give him a link and stuff. But if anybody knows, please post in the comment. So I'm going to have two 10k reactors sat there because I'm going to call them 10k because they're nine nine point nine something. So that's good enough. Unless anyone can show me a pr true 10k reactor and a 5x5, five five, that'd be great. See, the pr only problem I've got with this 5x5 five five is uh, a bit similar to this other one. If you actually put them together, they're not going to make a 10x10. Ten ten. They'll only make a 9x9 um, nine because nine, you lose the symmetry point. Um that one just sort of stacks infinitely but in one direction if you try to stack the sides. I haven't really tried that yet. I bet you can do it though. There is symmetry there. Anyway, right. So, that was all I wanted to show quickly. I'm going to do a proper video on that, but um, yeah, the uh, extra one, two, three, four, and then the same obviously on the other side. Five, six, and then the other two. Seven and the one below it, eight. Those are the. That's how it gets the extra. That's how it gets from eight, eight six or something to nine nine, making it actually a the better design. There you go. I missed one out there. So you always run round them and just make sure you haven't missed any. And obviously you could be filling in all of your. Uh, I just wanted to show it more clearly because it's a bit confusing when you have lots of other blocks going on. So yeah carrying on with the construction okay so now I'm gonna have a go trying to combine uh, the new this new design trying to make it not 10 by 10 but 9 by 9 so is that right 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 yeah trying to make it 9 by 9 using symmetry so uh, we'll see if that works out and if it does I'll carry that back a few so that's the next layer down. I'm just going to start filling it in with shields. So all I've done is I've put the symmetry to the corner of the block and then you just make it as normal and the symmetry does the rest. So that's another layer done. Time to start filling in the filling in the gaps. As you can see, the symmetry makes life easy. So there it is, that actually stacks really nicely. So I'm just going to start filling in my shields. Okay, done. And that's another level done. See, this is actually a lot easier to do than the other patterns for the simple reason that it just it's just easier to repeat. So, okay, so we're still here. We're still extending this back. Um, it's a pretty simple process. You just work in one corner and follow the two, I think, or three. Yeah, there's three patterns. I mean, this diagonal isn't really a pattern. It's like every other block, you know. It's a pretty simple pattern. Um, and that obviously goes between the two. And then we alternate between those two. And it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, like I say, the last one I did was the three, so that means we're doing corners. And when I say this is the corners pattern, you do the corners, and uh, then you do the middle. You have a cross in the middle, so corners with a cross in the middle. And fill it in. Okay, and then we get to do diagonals again. And then we put more shields in. You could use power tanks or another block, but it seems to be the easiest way to get extra shields. Right, so now it's pretty easy. We've got to do this one. The four ships going inwards, flying inwards. Four, three block ships. In we go. Okay, so that's that done. Shields. Okay. Okay, and then what's next? Yes, that's right. More diagonal blocks. 
The only reason I'm going over this is because this is such an easy way to do it and once you've seen it done slash done it yourself a few times you'll be like wow actually this is really easy and it's not it's not laborious to do at all you just sit here and put the patterns down um, so now I'm doing corners again and to be honest you know that's it in, the, in this this last clip uncut clip we've just we've just done uh, you know that's it that's 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 a whole cube <laughs> um, five by five added so and I didn't even have to move you just do one quarter it's quite nice I mean it, it makes a, a nine by nine I, mean, I, I don't know what it was when I started recording this section obviously I started it fresh but I've done all that now and it didn't take that long at all it all slots together real nice so yeah I'm gonna keep going need lots of energies there we go just check the other sides done there we go sorted look at that okay so should I bridge it off again one more yes and obviously with the symmetry set up on the ship in this way it's obviously built uh, another one on the other side now that's nice I like that uh, I thought I'd have a little bit of a tail on this version not that big but you know a tail nonetheless I'm considering whether to put one in on there because I could put another another reactor in here but it doesn't seem like much point you know um, I've got 795,000 so I suppose I could put another generator in here yeah let's do that let's put another generator in here right I'll be back in a sec okay that'll do so I just put another another little one on the end there now obviously it's not 5x5 five because five I'm borrowing the back wall so that it can mirror so it's a bit weird every for every two 5x5s five five you actually lose one well, for, for, yeah, two five by five by five, you lose one five by five slice. So, because it's shared, the pattern's shared. But, in any case, that is now pretty much done. I'm just going to take it for a quick, little bit of a. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Right, so let's just pull out. We're going to get stuck. No, good. Right, T, weapons computer one. There we go. Oh, good. I can fire. But maneuverability is suffering a bit. If I want to move and shoot, I can forget it. So I don't want it to be so large. So I've picked a pattern inside the pattern. As you can see, there's one here. See? the corners and cross it's kinda of hard to see it but it's there so we're gonna take that there it's kinda of offset and then I can start doing uh, the next one which of course is the ships going inwards and the symmetry is still gonna make the work less Check and yes the pattern is repeating nice and it's all good yeah I decided that this one was it's nice it means I'm not wasting the space but I think I'm just gonna stack it with thrusters and then uh, build some more from this because I can double it down here just whack some shields in the middle that'll be nice so here we go okay so I finally ran out of uh, power units so until I build some more or go and buy some more which I probably won't bother I've used every power unit which I had in the old ship and now I have 840,000 recharge and there's still plenty of room to expand this if I want to so I'm going to leave an opening here if I want to extend this with more generators at some uh, future stage um, and then I've started building the hull shape a little bit out of the or what's going to be the hull shape out of the uh, shield units so I'm just sort of playing about with it though so it's not quite finished yet but yeah that's what we're going for
So, now the construction is complete, let's put it outside and have a look at this beast. Okay, uh, I think we must be clear. Get it to auto level. As soon as it's done, I'll get some shots from the outside. The Mark 10 is finished. It's got considerably um, more efficient on the power and uh, the usage of the space. It's a lot longer, which means that it actually turns quicker than the last one as well. The guns haven't changed, um, except I do now have uh, a much better missile computer array. Both lock on. Right, there we go. That's all I've got to do now. There we go. So, checking it out. There it is. It's a lot sleeker looking. Um, probably be a bit harder to shoot for the back end. Smaller target profile and all that. Um, the whole back end is pretty much solid. Okay, I don't think there's anything there. There's no empty spaces. It's all it's all used. And then the uh, biggest difference, or the only real change I made on this is aesthetically is inside here I'm just going to take this uh, symmetry off right inside here what I've done is uh, I've put a Bobby AI on it it's got a faction module a gravity unit in the airlock and the airlock has a little shuttle so I don't have to like actually walk about outside trying to get to my shuttle I am going to put a bunch of turrets on the back so that's why it's all flat and smooth but it looks kind of cool like this so that's the ship. Um, the Mark 10 is completed. Let me try and get some pictures of this. And uh, yeah, it was fun. I've been using the either the over 9000 or the 9900 reactor pattern, and uh, it's, it's actually pretty, pretty. It's a lot better than it was in the last iteration. So, yeah.